Ever wondered how to make the perfect cupcakes at home? There's a certain magic that comes from baking. A sprinkle of this, a dash of that, and soon, you're crafting a sweet masterpiece right in your own kitchen. It's not just about following a recipe, it's about pouring your heart into every step, from selecting the ingredients to the final frosting swirl. The satisfaction that comes from creating something delicious with your own hands is truly unbeatable. Well, get ready to delve into the sweet and rewarding world of cupcake making. First things first, you need to gather your ingredients. The heart and soul of every cupcake lie in the simplicity of its ingredients. You'll need some basic pantry staples, all-purpose flour, granulated sugar, and unsalted butter. Then, you'll also need a couple of fresh eggs, a dash of baking powder, and a splash of milk. And let's not forget the star of the show, the vanilla extract, which will add that irresistible aroma that we all associate with homemade cupcakes. Quality matters. Fresh, high-quality ingredients will always yield the best results. Trust me, your taste buds will thank you later. So, go for the freshest eggs you can find, the creamiest butter, and genuine vanilla extract. And if you can, try using organic milk and flour. With all your ingredients at hand, you're ready to begin the baking process. Brace yourself for a delightful culinary adventure where the end prize is a batch of delicious homemade cupcakes. Now it's time to prepare the batter, the heart of every cupcake. The journey to a perfect cupcake begins with the batter. It's the soul that gives life to our little bites of joy. And how do we create this soul? It's a process that requires care, patience, and a little bit of culinary magic. Firstly, let's talk about creaming. It's not just about mixing butter and sugar together. No, it's about creating a beautiful, fluffy mixture that's going to give our cupcakes that light, airy texture we all love. So take your butter and sugar and beat them together until they're as light and fluffy as a cloud. Remember, the fluffier your mixture, the more tender your cupcakes will be. Now it's time for eggs. These little guys are the binding agents of our batter. But don't just throw them all in at once. We want to add them one at a time, mixing well after each addition. This allows the butter mixture to gradually emulsify, leading to a smoother batter. Once your eggs are well incorporated, it's time to add the dry and wet ingredients. But here's the trick. We're going to do it alternately. Start with a third of your dry ingredients, followed by half of your milk. Mix just until combined, then repeat the process, ending with the last third of your dry ingredients. This method ensures a smooth batter without overmixing, which can make your cupcakes tough. As you stir, take a moment to appreciate the transformation happening right before your eyes. The separate ingredients are coming together, forming a smooth, velvety batter that's ready to transform into delicious cupcakes. Remember, Patience is key. Don't rush the process. Good things, especially in baking, take time. And there you have it. Your cupcake batter is ready for the oven. In the next scene, we'll guide you through the baking process. But for now, take a moment to admire your creation. You've successfully prepared the batter, the heart of every cupcake. With your batter ready, it's time to fill your cupcake liners and bake these beauties. Now, we're moving on to the fun part. You've crafted your batter with love, and it's time to bring it all together. Grab your cupcake liners and a spoon or an ice cream scoop. It's important to fill each liner about two-thirds full. This might seem like it's not enough, but trust me, cupcakes need room to rise and bloom in the oven. Overfilling the liners may lead to a messy overflow in your oven, and we don't want that, do we? Once your liners are filled, it's time to pop the tray into the oven. But wait. Let's talk about the temperature. Baking is a science, and temperature plays a crucial role in the final outcome. For these cupcakes, we're looking at a moderate oven temperature. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. This temperature ensures that your cupcakes bake evenly without drying out or burning. Slide your tray into the middle rack of the oven. The middle rack is the sweet spot in most ovens, providing an even distribution of heat. Now, it's a waiting game. Your cupcakes need to bake for about 20 minutes, but don't wander too far. It's essential to keep an eye on them as baking times can vary based on individual ovens. Around the 17 minute mark, start checking your cupcakes. The tops should be golden brown, and a toothpick inserted into the center of a cupcake 
should come out clean. If it does, you've hit the jackpot. If not, give them a few more minutes, but remember to check frequently to prevent overbaking. As the timer dings, the sweet aroma of your freshly baked cupcakes fills the air. Carefully remove the tray from the oven and let them cool in the tray for a couple of minutes. Then transfer them to a wire rack to cool completely. Remember, patience is key here. Let them cool off before you start frosting, or your frosting might melt. After about 20 minutes in the oven, your cupcakes should be golden brown and ready to cool. You've successfully baked your cupcakes. Next, we'll move on to frosting these beauties. Now for the fun part, frosting the cupcakes. This is where your creativity comes to play, where you add that personal touch to your homemade delights. Let's start by making our frosting. There are many types of frosting to choose from, and what you choose depends on your personal preference and the flavor of your cupcakes. Some of the most popular choices are cream cheese frosting, buttercream frosting, and the rich and decadent ganache. Cream cheese frosting is a classic choice for red velvet cupcakes. It's a delightful blend of cream cheese, powdered sugar, and vanilla extract. The tanginess of the cream cheese perfectly balances the sweetness of the sugar, creating a frosting that's creamy, tangy, and sweet all at once. Buttercream frosting, on the other hand, is a versatile choice that pairs well with almost any cupcake flavor. It's made by creaming together butter and powdered sugar, then adding in a splash of vanilla extract for flavor. The end result is a frosting that's light, fluffy, and incredibly buttery. If you're after something a bit more decadent, you might want to try making a ganache. This is a rich, creamy frosting made by heating together heavy cream and chocolate. The result is a glossy, smooth frosting that's absolutely bursting with chocolate flavor. Once you've chosen your frosting and prepared it, it's time to apply it to your cupcakes. You can use a piping bag for a more professional look, or simply spread it on with a knife for a rustic touch. Either way, make sure to let your cupcakes cool completely before frosting them to prevent the frosting from melting. Remember, the goal here is not perfection. It's about expressing your creativity and having fun. So feel free to experiment with different colors, textures, and toppings. Add a sprinkle of crushed cookies for crunch, or a drizzle of caramel for extra sweetness. With a dollop of frosting, your cupcakes are now not only delicious, but also a feast for the eyes. The hard part is over. Now, it's time to enjoy your homemade cupcakes. Ah, the sweet reward of your labor. The aroma of freshly baked cupcakes wafting through the air, the sight of the beautiful frosting that you've so lovingly crafted, and the anticipation of that first bite. It's a pure, unadulterated joy that only comes from creating something with your own two hands. You've taken simple ingredients like flour, sugar, and butter, and transformed them into a little piece of edible art. That's no small feat. Each cupcake is a testament to your dedication and creativity, and it deserves to be savored. Take a moment to appreciate the fruits of your labor. Look at the golden brown crust, the light crumb, the swirls of frosting. Notice the way the cupcake feels in your hand, the weight of it. Then take a bite. Feel the texture of the cake, the creaminess of the frosting. Taste the sweetness, the butteriness, the vanilla, or chocolate or whatever flavors you chose to incorporate. This is your masterpiece, and it's delicious. Of course, cupcakes are made for sharing. They're a symbol of celebration, of coming together. So why not spread the joy? Share your cupcakes with your friends, your family, your neighbors. Witness their faces light up at the sight of your homemade treats. Hear their compliments and accept them gracefully because you've earned them. But remember, it's also perfectly okay to enjoy your cupcakes all by yourself maybe with a cup of coffee in the morning, or as a special treat after a long day. You've put in the work, and you deserve to indulge. Cupcakes are more than just a sweet treat. They're a labor of love, a creative outlet, a source of joy. Every time you bake, you're not just making cupcakes, you're making memories. You're making smiles, you're making happiness. And that's something to be proud of. So keep baking, keep experimenting, keep enjoying the process, and most importantly, keep enjoying the results because every batch of cupcakes is a new adventure, a new opportunity to create something beautiful and delicious. Whether you're a seasoned baker or a beginner, there's always something new to learn, a new recipe to try, a new technique to master. And remember, 
the journey is just as important as the destination. So take your time, enjoy the process, and savor every bite. So, there you have it, the secret to making perfect cupcakes at home. Happy baking!